Hi, this is Chuck. Welcome to my channel, The Rocketeer. This is the third video and last of this series. In this episode, we're going to take all the elements of the casting base and put them together, and we should end up with something like this. After that, I'll show you how to set it up and start casting the nozzles. First, we'll set up the base. I've taken the pins that we made in a previous video and inserted them into the base. What we're looking for is a little bit of shoulder right in here to help center the next piece that we're going to put in. Next, I will take a one inch piece of PVC pipe and a three quarter inch piece of PVC pipe that I have cut a kerf all the way through. This allows the pipe to fit together and I can slip the two of them together like this. Then I'll take the two of these and place them over the pin and push all the way down. What this does is allows the inside insert to make a nice flat spot and support our 3 16 inch washer that we're going to put in the top of it. So I'll go ahead and place the washer in the top and as you can see it fits in there nice with just a little bit of space around the cone here. Now after we've set that up and we're happy with that fit and it looks like that and the washer is sitting flat on that insert, I'll take this out, push it down again, insert it over the top of this and see if it fits about the same as the previous one. What we would like is both of them to fit about the same. Once we're happy with the fit, we can just glue the pins in, or in this case, mine are press fit. So after that's all done, we are ready to go for the next step. I've glued my insert in and drilled the holes. After that, I put tape on the outside, and where each hole is, I put a small slit. That allows air to escape and the concrete pins will form properly like this. Place the nozzle on the casting base and then fill it up with concrete until you get just above where the insert is. Then place your washer, in this case I'm using a 3 16 fender washer. In another video later I'll be using a quarter inch for a different size motor. Drop that in there and then continue to fill it up with concrete till it's even with the top. After it sets for a certain amount of time, and that depends on the concrete that you're using, I use Quickcrete hydraulic cement. After it sets, then you'll want to remove it from the base and then check the bottom of it, see if there's any cleanup that needs to be done here. And then for the convergent angle, I just usually use a pocket knife and just trim a little bit of it away while the concrete is still soft. Then after that, let it set up overnight and you're ready to go to assemble a motor. In closing, I'd like to offer you a couple of tips. I use this Gorilla Glue. It's the purple variety. It doesn't require a primer and has very low odor. When you set up your casting base, put a little bit of light oil on it, like cooking oil or something like that, and it will help release the nozzle from the mold. Mix up your concrete about like pancake batter. That seems to work the best for me. When it comes time to release the nozzle from the base, take a pocket knife and score the top of it with moderate pressure. If you can make a light scratch with moderate pressure, it's probably about right and ready to be released from the mold. I hope these tips help you. In the following videos, we'll put one of the nozzles on a motor and test it and see what kind of thrust we get out of it. And also I'll show you how to assemble the motor. Until then, we'll see you later. 